And holy crap, let's protect ourselves from blue light, since we can't protect ourselves from much else, it seems. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals. Today's video is my foundation routine, my current one that I just kind of happened upon. Um, I've been having some skin struggles what's new 2020 it's dry and then it's not so dry so i've just been mixing and matching products recently i just switched up my bronzer and concealer and they have it's just made such a huge difference so i really wanted to share because since sharing my favorite foundations for dry skin concealers for dry skin and all of those videos i've been getting a crazy response from people saying that they're thankful for those videos because it's hard to find product suggestions for really dry skin and i feel like i've really come up with a nice formula for dry skin, especially during colder weather. What's most important about a foundation routine is obviously skincare. So I wanna say a big thank you to Good Habit for sponsoring today's video. I have been using their Rescue Me collection recently. Read up on blue light <laughs> and how it can damage your skin, which is terrifying. Good Habit is the first brand to focus on protecting our skin from artificial blue light. They are a clean skincare line, vegan and cruelty free. And there are 1200 ingredients that they never use in their products. I know as an influencer that I am in front of my laptop, tablet, and phone screen constantly for my work. UVA and UVB rays, we protect our skin from that. We wear SPF all the time. In an hour in front of a blue light screen equals to 15 minutes in the sun being unprotected. So let's add all that up. Rescue Me Collection is a collection focused on hydration. Thank goodness that's why I've been using it lately. First I start out with a Good Habit Rescue Me Clean Scene Micellar Gel with blue light protection. This is a no rinse cleanser that I love to use in the morning to retain moisture. Right after that I go in with the Texture Magic Exfoliating Toner. This also has blue light protection and really refines the pores and the texture of your skin. It stings a little bit, but in a good way. And then after that, I'm going in with actually my favorite out of all of these from Good Habit. It is the Rescue Me Glow Potion Oil Serum. It is a triple layer oil serum and it is magic. And then to top everything off, I go in with the Rescue Me Water Jelly Dew Cream from Good Habit. And this is incredible. It is so moisturizing yet so light and perfect for underneath makeup. So now that skincare is out of the way, let's get into the routine. For primer and um, a setting spray, I have really been loving the In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. This does both. I love a setting spray that does both, but this is like glowy, hydrating without making your makeup slip everywhere. I have raved about their lip oil before. I just like to use this as a primer and it's very like, it's one of those scents where you just wanna keep spraying. And I'm just gonna press that in with my beauty blender. And the foundation that I've been really loving with the state that my skin is in right now, which is super, super dry, Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. This is the shade Y. 225. This foundation is fairly sheer, so I like to use it when my skin is doing pretty well, which it is. I have been able to wear a little less coverage. If you just apply one layer, it's, it almost comes off as a tinted moisturizer, but the magic of this foundation is that it can be built up without looking cakey. So this coverage is about one and a half pumps. Now normally, if like the way my skin has been, this year, I would use two pumps. And normally, this is when I would go in with a cream bronzer, like my Fenty Butter Biscuit or a Fenty Macchiato. But I have discovered that I have like been liking doing something else. This is kind of an accident because I've been I was mixing foundations and all that kind of good stuff. But I have been loving the Mac Face and Body in the shade N5 for a bronzer. It's a little bit warmer undertoned and slightly darker than the Reboot. I forgot to preface this video of and say that I have self-tanned. <laughs> so that's why we're using darker shades right now. I really have been loving using foundations as 
bronzers just because they're more seamless. It's a way to use up foundation. It's a really good way to use up product you already own. And what's so great about the face and body is it's very sheer so you can really play with it, build it up, especially over a lighter coverage foundation like the Makeup Forever Reboot. Now next is when I've been loving going into a cream blush. You don't have to, you could skip this part if you have dry skin. If you have dry skin and you love blush like I do, I highly suggest trying this out. I'm going to use the Kylie In My Feels blush stick today and I'm gonna apply this directly on my cheeks. And the reason why I like to use the blush before the concealer is I really like a bright under eye, you know? So if you don't care about going over your concealer with blush and you don't really struggle with too bad of dark circles, you could totally do that. But if you do, applying your blush first and then concealer, I don't know, it just makes you look almost like just, I don't know, just very awake. I love this blush. It's like a rosy with gold, not shimmer, but it gives a glow to the skin. Also with my cream blushes, if I apply before my concealer, I like to take them up a little higher up onto the dark circle and then cover with concealer. It kind of comes through a little bit. Oh, lost my beauty blender. Like I was saying, it kind of shows through the concealer in like a really pretty way. So for concealer, I've been back to loving a sheerer, lighter formula because my skin is so dry. My lips are so dry right now. Back to concealer, the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I have raved about this forever for years and years. And I'm just back to loving it because my skin is really dry under my eyes. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen I'll link them below, but my favorite uh, foundations for dry skin, powders for dry skin, then you don't know that I am like so dry where everyone else is less dry. So my T-zone is dry, underneath my eyes are dry. It's just, it's bizarre. And it's hard to find products on the internet that cater to that kind of skin type because a lot of people have oily skin, it seems. So boom. Okay, I have had like no sleep the past two weeks and look at my face. The powder that I love and that you guys know that I love is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. Okay, I love this stuff. I'm using the shade number two. I'm using that on a MAC 140S. It's like a large powder fan. A little on top of the blush. I've talked about this in several recent videos but the Laura Mercier Bronze 01 powder. And this is how I've been using it. I have been taking the Laura Mercier finishing brush, swirl it around, and I go right over where I apply the MAC face and body. We're loving it. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. Oh, wow, and it's gotten dark outside. <laughs> there we go. To set everything, I'm gonna go back in with the In Beauty Project Power Up Spray. And I'm just gonna go in and press that in to my skin. This is my current foundation routine for extremely dry skin, and I mean extremely extremely dry skin. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new videos every week, usually Wednesday and Friday, but girl, I don't know. And follow me on Instagram at Mallory, triple underscore Brooke. I don't know if the, the thing's probably not going right there. Check out Good Habit Skin Care. I'm telling you, skincare is a pivotal part of your foundation routine, your makeup routine. And holy crap, let's protect ourselves from blue light since we can't protect ourselves from much else, it seems, in this world. Okay, that got dark. And use my code Mallory for 15% off. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> bye. All right.